Now I'm going to show you in this tutorial how you can uh, move text in iMovie on your MacBook. So uh, the why now why we have to create this? Uh, I need to create this because we don't have this feature on uh, iMovie. You know, I mean, it, this is free software app or whatever you're going to call it app on your MacBook. But it's just that it's very annoying that you don't have this on your like, default. I have this text here. I want to add some uh, text from here. I'll add this text, but you can't move this text. Well, there's a workaround, and what you're gonna have to do here, I'm gonna add some text. You're gonna have to use uh, Photoshop in order to to move your text. So here, whatever the text here, let's see. But if you want to add the text, make sure you remove the background. Now you have the text here. I'm just gonna write here. Maybe wow. And then I'll just resize here and move this in the middle. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the color and then I'm going to double click here and inner shadow, add an inner shadow, some stroke, some uh, color, no, gradient, no, some drop shadow and this other Outer glow and now I'm just gonna go to file here, export, export as make sure here is select PNG and transparent. You have this checked, and then you click on export, and then you click on save, and you click on replace, and then you go back to iMovie. And then here I'm just gonna click on Noland. I'm gonna move this here, and now here you can still remove the the text move the text but if you want to move the text you're going to have to go here to picture in picture now you are able to move the text without any problem you can move the text you can also add some border and some shadow so yeah that's the workaround i found for this problem now this is not a bad edit in editing software it's pretty good but this uh, feature is kind of a needed feature, feature that should be already here, should be already, we should, we, should, we should have this feature, but we don't have it. Okay, that's the workaround. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and take care.